Welcome to the Regrid Mapping Platform. Today we'll be talking about importing data from a spreadsheet that you have into Regrid. The first thing to cover here is that Regrid only supports data that can be tied to individual properties. So that means that you're going to need an address, parcel number, or let long coordinate to match what you have to our properties. Census data or other aggregate data won't work well here. So let's say that you do have some property level data that you want to import. For example, let's say that you have a list of properties that interest you, or you've downloaded a data set from your county or city's open data portal. The first thing to do will be to open up this data as a spreadsheet and look at that data. What you're doing here is you're making sure that it makes sense, it looks right, uh, and specifically, you want to confirm that there is a column with an address or parcel number that you can match to. So looking at this sample spreadsheet that we have here, uh, it's great because we have a parcel number, uh, which is generally the most foolproof option. Uh, so that's all looking good here. So as with most of our processes, we recommend that you create a new project or select one that you've already set up that you'd like to import the data into. I've already done that here, as you can see. Once you're ready, click Import on the left-hand side, and it'll bring up this dialog. Click Select a File or drag and drop a file to start the import process. You'll see some progress bars working, and then after the fourth bar, the process will pause so that you can review. At this point, you'll want to scroll down and make sure that the data is being matched in the right location, and below it that the appropriate column in your spreadsheet is being joined to. So we want to join this in Cleveland. So this is, it's not in Louisiana. I'm gonna search for Cuyahoga County. Below it, we're gonna look at the potential fields that are being joined on. So parcel ID to the column called parcel number looks right. And then just to be safe, I'm turning off all these other fields because we don't want to join on those. You can see here, this is a, a match rate bar, uh, giving you a percentage out of 100. Uh, we got zero this time, and we have a good idea of why, because it was trying to match in Louisiana. So now we've changed it to Cuyahoga County. I'll click Apply Changes, and that process bar will retest. Now we can see that we've got 99% matched, uh, which is much better, and we'll go ahead and click Finish Import. The final progress bar will show its progress, and when it's 100% finished, you'll be presented with two options, add to the map or import more data. In this case, we'd like to add it to the map, so I'll click that button, and you can see the properties reflected here. If I zoom in and click on one of the properties that has my data matched to it, you can see that there are two tabs now, where before there would have just been this one, which is the county data that we collect. Now you can also see all the information from my spreadsheet is here as well. Any data that you import can always be found in the datasets tab on the dashboard or accessed on the datasets left-hand sidebar button where you can manage which of your datasets you attach to a specific project.